Hi and welcome to the first video in the Python tutorial series. In this series I'm going to be teaching you how to code in the Python programming language and these tutorials will be suitable for you if um, you don't have any programming experience or if you've already been programming a little bit in other programming languages. So basically Python is a high level programming language that's used for general purpose programming. It's very popular uh, for web development, for creating web applications, um, but it's also a useful programming language um, for developing desktop applications and is also used in game development. So um, it's been around since the early 90s and the focus of the Python programming language, what it's really good at is allowing you to write highly readable code um, with a syntax that allows programmers to be able to express logic in fewer lines of code than uh, some other programming languages. So it allows you to really write uh, really clear, highly readable code uh, and express things in fewer lines uh, than other languages. Okay, so to get started, what we're going to look at in this tutorial is how to set up Python on your computer, uh, and we're going to write our first lines of code. So if you don't already have Python ex installed, what you can do is go to python.org and you can download Python for uh, Windows or Mac or Linux. I'm going to be using Python 3 uh, in this series. Um, so you can go and, and download, download Python for free. Um, I'm going to be using Python 3.6.4, uh, but if you've got a newer or slightly older version of Python, the code is going to be the same. Okay, um, you can also use um, cloud IDEs or integrated development environments like uh, AWS Cloud9 um, or Heroku. Um, but initially, I'm going to show you how to use the Python Idle um, program for writing your code. Okay, so um, once you've downloaded and installed Python, you can open it up and I'm going to be using idle. So Python idle is Python's uh, GUI or graphical user interface IDE, or integrated development environment, which is basically a combination of a text editor, so where you actually write your code, and the shell, so where your code runs. And there's two ways that you can write code in, the, uh, in Python idle. So, the first way is using the shell, which is what we see when we open up Python idle. And you can see here it's got a bit of information showing the version of Python running um, and some information on how to um, access copyright credits or license information. Okay, And the cursor here is ready and waiting for us to write some code. So that's the first way that we can write some code. And if we use a shell, basically the way it works is we type our lines of code one by one and we hit enter or return on the keyboard and each line of code is executed or um, run one by one. Okay, uh, And if we use a shell, we can't actually save those programs and go back to it. So um, basically you might use a shell for testing um, various lines of code one by one, but if you're wanting to create a full program, um, then you'd need to create a new window to save your code in and then run it using the shell. So what we're going to do is uh, basically it's traditional when you're learning a new programming language to um, write code in that language that can print or display a message to the screen and traditionally a hello world message. So to do that in the Python language, we can use the print statement. So we type print and then in brackets, we can type inside quotes the message that we want to display on the screen. So for example, hello world, inside quotes, and then close those brackets, and if we hit return or enter on the keyboard, we'll see that message output on the screen, printed on the screen. And the shell is now waiting for us to type in another line of code and then we'll run that line of code. So basically, a few things here to be aware of. Firstly, I've changed the settings. So if your if your idle uh, Python idle shell looks a little bit different, uh, that's just because I'm using a a different theme. So if you click on your 
preferences. There's a few things you can change, like the font size, um, and you can also choose one of the built-in themes or create a custom theme. I'm using the dark theme. Okay, so if you're just wondering why your Python might look different to mine. Um, the second thing we'll focus on here is the color of the code. So we can see that the code is broken up into a few different parts. We have the print statement, which here is pink. Uh, we have brackets containing some text, and that text is actually inside quotes. Now, this is what's called in programming a string. Uh, so a string can be a sequence of characters, either letters, numbers, punctuation marks, or other characters. And strings in Python are contained inside quotes. So we can use the print statement to display or print on screen a string, a string of text or a string of characters here. And in this case, so the message, hello world. We can use the print statement for other things. So maybe displaying values that are stored in the program inside variables. But at the moment, we're just displaying a simple message. Now, because we're in the shell, we can only really type one line of code and run line, one line of code at a time. So if I wanted to display a different message, I'd have to type it in after that first line of code has executed or run. And I could display a different message here. And then again, hit return or enter to display that message. Now, if we're wanting to create a program that contains multiple lines of code, and then run all of those lines of code at once, what we really need to do is open up a new window. So we can click File, New File, and we can close the shell if we want to. And this file here will allow us, this new window here will allow us to type in code across multiple, line, across multiple lines and save it and then run it later. So the first thing I'll do is click File, Save As, I'm going to choose a folder for my code and all Python files end in extension .py. So I'm going to call this 01 hello world and .py at the end. You can save that. Now we can start typing our code. So I can do the same thing as before. I can say print hello world. I can hit it enter or return to create another line. I can display another hello message here, another print message. And maybe a third line. Now to run all of this code at once, first thing I need to do is save my code. So either file save or command S on a Mac or control S on a PC. And then I can click run and then run module, or I could use the F5 keyboard shortcut. So if I click run module, it opens up the Python shell, and we can see all of that code has been executed, or runs, all at once. So we see all three messages there on new lines, and all of that code ran in one go. And so that's basically how to create your first program in Python um, using the Python idle program.